In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this super simple barefoot sandal pattern. I'm going to be using a miniature tidbit size of Be So Fine yarn available on my website and a size D hook, which is 3.25 millimeter. So let's get started. We're going to start. You're welcome to do a slip knot if you prefer. I prefer tying a solid knot onto my crochet hook. Okay, we're going to start with a chain five. And we're going to slip stitch into the fifth chain from our hook to form a ring. Okay, and you want to make sure that you work into that ring now. We're not going to work into the individual chains. We're going to work into the center ring. We're going to start with a chain 12. And we're going to single crochet into the ring. Remember the center whole ring in between, not into any of the given chains. So we'll single crochet and then we're going to chain 12 again. And single crochet into the ring. You want to do this eight more times and on the ninth chain 12 space I'll show you how we finish this off a little bit differently at the end. Okay, you'll see we have our eight loops now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight chain 12 loops in round one, alternated with a single crochet into the chain five space. And we're going to do a chain seven and a double treble into the ring. So we're going to yarn over three times, insert our hook into the chain five space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And the reason we do that is because we want to end up at the top of this chain 12 space for the next round. We're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet chain one, and double crochet into that same chain 12 space. We're going to chain four. And in the next chain 12 space, we're going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So we start with a yarn over, insert a hook into the chain 12 space, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one. We're going to do a double crochet in the same space again. Yarn over, insert your hook in the chain 12 space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain four. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned what color yarn I'm using. This is called Harbor Fog, and Be So Fine comes in 17 hand dyed colorways. This is like a really light, silvery, sage, oceany, stormy sea kind of a color. Chain four. Very soft color. We're going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain 12 space. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the chain 12 space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Chain one. Double crochet in the same space. Chain four. In the next chain four space, chain 12 space, we're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, chain four, and do a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. We're going to do this all the way around. And then I'll show you how we finish this round and start the last round. Okay, I've made it all the way around working double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each train, chain 12 space and doing a chain four before doing double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space. We did that all the way around, ended with a chain four, and now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the third chain at the beginning of the round. The chain three counted as a double crochet of that chain four space so that we had a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain one space now. We're going to do a chain four again, which also counts as a double crochet, chain one, and we're going to double crochet in that same chain one space so that we have that V-stitch formation in the V-stitch formation of the previous round. So we're going to now chain five, 
So this round is very similar to the round before. Instead of doing chain four spaces between our double crochet, chain one double crochets, we're now going to do a chain five in between them. And otherwise, our V-stitch or double crochet, chain one double crochet is exactly the same, but it's worked into a chain one space instead of a chain 12 space. So it looks like that. Chain five. And then the only one that we're going to do a little bit differently is the one that has that's positioned for our toe ring. Because these aren't just triangular motifs, they're going to be barefoot sandals. This particular pattern for a barefoot sandal is really, really easy and quick to work up. This would be a great project over a weekend to do for a, um, a wedding party, like a beach wedding. It would be so super cute. Let me just make sure I'm at the right one. Um, See, I went too far, so we're going to back up one more, one spot. Okay, so we did our first V-stitch, second, and third. So on the fourth one, we want to prepare for our toe ring. So we have a, we're going to chain 13 total. And I'll set, and then double crochet and a second time in that same chain one space. I'm going to set this down so you can see what I mean. And I'll set it side by side with our finished one so you can definitely compare them and see what I'm talking about. Okay, see how that would be our first one and then we did two regular ones. So there was our first one, we did two regular ones. And so this particular V-stitch is then double crochet, chain 13, double crochet. And now the rest of the round will be in the otherwise established pattern of chain five and then double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. Okay, we've come to the end of the round. So we're going to finish with a chain five. Slip stitch to the, the third chain of the chain four space at the beginning of the round to join. Then we're going to slip stitch into the chain one space. And we're now going to chain 150 to do the one, the tie on this side. So you just want to count 150 and fasten off on that side. And then when you finish that, you want to come back and on the opposite corner here, you'll slip stitch to join and chain 150 there. And then I want to show you how I finish these. After you fasten them off, you want to tie a couple of knots in the end. It helps the end from um, fall unraveling and it also gives you a little more weight so that they sit really nicely once you tie them up your leg. If you decide to make these, especially if you decide to make them for a beach wedding, please send me pictures. I'd love to see the barefoot sandals that you make.